All right, so we got one of these ETB Plus's boxes, the Zacian. I don't even know how I got my hands on it, guys. <laughs> I really don't. GameStop so happened to get one in and held it for me, so I guess I just got lucky. So comes with three, uh, three of each set. So you got, of course, Darkness of Blades, which we're starting on, Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield, and Vivid Voltage. So pretty cool stuff. There's a code for you guys. We're gonna guess energy. I'm gonna go electric on that one. Fire. Oh, we suck. All right. So you're gonna have the uh, Gotharita Piers. So negative. I mean, you can't get everyone right. Diglett, the Squavet, <laughs> very good card. Poltergeist, and a Multic. So or Melodic, excuse me. There you go. Pretty cool. All right. It's gonna be so much harder to get cards, dude. Now that Target and Walmart are suspending the cards, people keep getting in fights. It's insane. It's crazy. They're serious about that Pokemon, man. Pokemon and sports, not just Pokemon, but yeah, mainly the sports. Yeah, the sports crowd is toxic. Right. It gets pretty crazy out there. I can't say anything because I, I love my sports cards too now because <laughs> those UFC cards are killing it. They are so much fun to open. I love Pokemon though. Like, that's my jam right there. Hopefully we won't look at this one this time. Be crazy if you got a Charizard out of these. That'd be insane. Hold up. All right, so we got the water energy. Sim Sage vanilla ish. I don't know. I don't know who this is going to be, but if it was the Charizard Larvitar, very cool card. Golet. I think Matt's here. Simi Poor. And no Charizard, so that's unfortunate. Right, now we're going to go move on to the Rebel Clash. I don't know. I wish they would make some more ETBs like this, kind of like a mix match of the cards. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, what you guys think? So I'm going to go Leaf on this one. Oh, Psychic. It's unfortunate. Curse Shovel. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Bundle B, very cool artwork. Full picks. Very cute. Galarian Farfetch. What a cool card. An another Galarian Farfetch. That was really weird. Shinx. And right behind it, we do have a Dragapult V Max. What a bomb card. Super awesome. Especially since you get that bad boy out of the uh, Dragapult V Max shiny for the awesome boxes from Shining Fates. Very cool. Add that one to the list. Not a bad pull at all. Rebel Clash, guys. What y'all think? These packs are pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna go Steel. Ooh, in with the actual guest. Very awesome, Morpico. Squavet, what a silly little Pokemon that is. All right, Dragapult, speaking of the devil. All right, Spiritome. So we didn't get really anything too amazing out of that pack. Man, I love opening cards, guys. I mean, everyone's out here reselling. I just can't stop ripping. I mean, honestly, these are so much fun to open. I love collecting. Just something super awesome about it. I hope that everything goes back to kind of normal. I mean, this hobby's gotta be insane right now. I'm sure all of you are experiencing that. It's a shame. All right, let's see here. All right, we did hit, ooh, very beautiful card, Melodic V, so. That's absolutely stunning. I love that card. Super cool. To just even compare it, guys. Look, I mean, can you compare it? That's so cool. Awesome. All right, so we'll set that bad boy to the side. There's our Rebel Clash packs. How are these Sword and Shield packs? I'm really hoping my brother really wants the Snorlax. Um, so I've been really wanting to pull one for him. I mean, I could buy him one. They're not like crazy crazy but something about pulling a card is just absolutely amazing 
right. Did try to get them out of those dollar packs that they sold at our local Dollar General and Family Dollar. So, all right, we're gonna go Psychic. Oof, dark, very close. Every time I guess Psychic, it's always dark. Ends up being the complete opposite. If I go dark, it's Psychic. Rinse and repeat. So we do have our Wulu and our Rillaboom there for your Rare Hollow. It's unfortunate we got a white and green code and just a Rare Hollow. Nothing spectacular. Don't want to look at the code. Almost was too aggressive with the opening. All right, let's see here. All right. Check it out. Let's go fire. Oof, leaf. Complete opposite. Bidi, Rad Boots, Krogunk, Messino, Vulpix, Muna, Swobble, and a Dreadnought. Alright, guys. So, nothing too, too crazy. Last Sword and Shield pack. I'm not even going to try to get too hyped about it because. I mean, you guys know how it is with these these cards. You never get exactly what you're looking for until the 98th pack that you're opening. That or you're extremely lucky. So, all right, we're gonna go Psychic. Oh, Bisharp, Pokemon Catcher, Hunter, Ghastly. Very cool. I love Ghastly and Hunter. Very nice to be able to see them. Clavifus. Rhyhorn and the Roserade. So that's it for our Sword and Shield. Obviously, of course, these are Sword and Shield as well, Viv Voltage, but you know what I mean. It's a pretty cool box. I really enjoy these ETB Pluses. Super awesome. What do you guys think? We're going to get a good pull out of these last three packs. Let's go with fire. Oof, fighting. Exadrill, Nuzleaf, Opal, Beldum. Right, not bad. Ooh, Zamazenta there for your amazing rare. And then on top of that, a Talent Flame full art card. Very beautiful. Absolutely amazing. That was actually pretty cool, man. <laughs> Talking about Zacian, we got the Zacian box and we pulled an amazing rare Zamazenta. All right, let's check it out. Those amazing rares are absolutely beautiful. And Rainbow Pikachu still has yet to show his face to me. Plenty of VMAX Pikachus, but I haven't been able to actually get the Rainbow Pikachu. Regular VMAX, yeah. Pull rates in Viv Voltage are ridiculous in the first place, and now that cards are even harder to find, good luck on that one. Oof, guys, I think I just ruined the last card. Let's see, let's see. All right, let's go electric, I guess. No. What do y'all think we're gonna get? Let's see. Last pack magic. Slagma, Trumbeak. And we did get a Drapion V. So not an absolute loser box. I mean, it was pretty cool. We got some decent pulls out of there. Um, if you guys enjoyed the content, just follow me subscribe whatever you want to do and we'll see you in the next one appreciate it